Now the Fed is currently destroying the housing market, at least the mortgage lenders. We have this letter that came out from the Mortgage Bankers Association, and they were urging the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the main brokerage regulators to address this problem by telling securities firms not to escalate margin calls to destabilizing levels. Now what happened is the Fed came out and decided they were going to be buying these mortgage bonds. But what they said is that the Fed's unprecedented buying of $183 billion of bonds tied to home loans last week has unintentionally put their industry at risk because it has triggered a flood of margin calls on hedge lenders because it has caused a flood of margin calls on hedge lenders have entered into to protect themselves from losses. Now, it was signed by Robert Brokesmith. He would be the CEO of the Mortgage Bankers Association, and he said, when lenders issue new loans, they often simultaneously short mortgage-backed securities. This is done because the loans might fall in value before a banker can sell them to Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. The bet against mortgage bonds helps protect the lender if that happens. So they're losing that tool. They're altering the system. They also wrote, quote, the dramatic price volatility in the market of agency mortgage-backed securities over the past week is leading to broker-dealer margin calls on mortgage lenders' hedge positions that is unsustainable for many such lenders. Now, we already know there's a number of financial institutions on the verge of failure, and the CFTC just needed to bail out Capital One. Now, that was because of energy prices, but now you have the one-two combo that the mortgage industry is getting crushed. Now, it says lenders are being crushed on these hedges because they are facing waves of demands from brokers that want to sell their holdings and put more money into their trading accounts. He further wrote, broker-dealer margin calls on mortgage lenders reached staggering and unprecedented levels by the end of the past week. The inability of a large set of responsibly managed lenders to meet these margin calls would jeopardize the very objective of the Federal Reserve's agency mortgage-backed security purchases. The smooth functioning of both the primary and secondary mortgage markets. This is a collapse of the system. Now the letter said that some of these lenders may not be able to meet their margin calls within one day or two. And we also see Barry Habib he would be the founder of mortgage-backed security highway they would be an advisor for the industry and they came out to publicly sound the alarm by saying quote this is a collapse of the system it's as simple as the fed stops buying for a period of time now the mortgage bankers association they have come out and they have asked that guidance be issued directing brokers to work constructively with these lenders now, there's also the threat of widespread loan defaults prompting a wave of selling of commercial mortgage-backed securities. Now, Bloomberg noted that the surge in margin calls is also causing major pain on the commercial real estate market. Now, they cited the CEO of Colony Capital. His name is Tom Barrick, and he was desperately pleading for a bailout. And he said that they need a moratorium on margin calls right now, and the Fed buying needs to stop because the sell-off for bonds tied to these commercial properties. Now he added that the residential mortgage lenders have been crushed from hedging implosions thanks to this massive unprecedented Fed buying in their market. And they're demanding that the Fed stop buying and offer them a bailout to avoid this entire systemic collapse. Now we know the secondary lenders They've also been crushed as a result of the collapse of the U.S. housing market. And they have been demanding that the Fed buy even more and remove all accounting rules and eliminate all margin calls. Now, the problem is they're not saving the system. They're not relieving the system. They're trying to enrich a specific people group, their friends and their, you know, co-conspirers. But their stealing of taxpayer money to fund the largest banks in the nation is causing the entire mortgage lending industry to collapse. That and the fact that people, they're probably not going to be paying their mortgages since they have banned foreclosures and evictions in many places already. Now the point is, it's not just that everybody doesn't want to pay. 
but not everybody's going to have the means to pay. It's amazing how many industries are moving in with their handout now that they see that they are just printing unlimited dollars at this point. Wouldn't it make much more sense just to give the people money to pay their mortgages? Because when all this is said and done, you guarantee they're going to reinstate foreclosures. The banks are the de facto landlords of this nation. I believe it's too late at this point. The Federal Reserve has been given complete and total control of the US economy. We have lost all sense of independence from the Fed. They have now assumed control of all markets. And they keep putting out this information, attempting to convince us that it's all just for the greater good. Because that's why it's the same machine. We get a new face every few years, but it's the same machine with the same goal and nothing seems to stop. All right, thank you guys for stopping by and joining us. As always, stay safe.